do you think it's ridiculous that you could just get a solar panel with a micro inverter, put a three pin plug on it and just plug it into your wall, into your existing circuits? Well, that's exactly what's happening in many countries. And that looks set to come to the UK. So I wanna give you a brief overview, not too in depth, so that you can be clued up about this plug-in solar. Some places call it plug and play solar, other places have got different names for it, but it's essentially small scale solar installations that just integrate with your existing circuitry without any dedicated weird stuff and any, uh, qualified electrician needed so this is a very like diy uh a diy project almost and so some people are calling it diy solar but that has already kind of been made to mean something else so two million germans now have this installed they call it balkonkraftwerke auf deutsch um, they also refer to it um, as Balkon Solar Anlage and luckily for me I speak German and I read German and I've been keeping up with a couple of the forums that um, are kind of sharing how this is working in Germany and it's fascinating I know I've got viewers in Germany so I'm really hoping you'll type in the comments let me know your experience have you got it have you got friends and family with it and for you who love my videos, make sure you like and subscribe before we move on, because I always say it at the end, but maybe you don't make it to the end. Maybe you don't love my videos that much. Clearly, Germany is onto something if they manage to double the solar installations of this specific type of balcony solar in one year. And they've semi-deregulated it. There's a couple of things that they did. They increased the limit from 600 watts up to 800 watts. So that's two reasonable sized solar panels with a micro inverter or a little battery or something. Them. and there's now clever equipment like the ecoflow stream that will allow the property to be supplied with 2000 watts 2300 watts depending on how you configure it in some cases just 1200 watts and they've found some clever technical solutions with hardware that they can not circumvent the regulations they comply fully with the regulations but make sure that the limitation of 800 watts connected to the grid remains in place at all times even if you're self-consuming more energy within the property um, brilliant hardware solution from eat close flow so let now let me transition on to the uk side because in germany they can literally the the equipment you buy it and it comes with a little normal plug on it you know not like our uk three pin plug but their european one and they can literally just buy the equipment and plug it in it's like building lego they just plug it in mc4 connectors if you haven't used them before click 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 it all together boom you're done anyone with basic diy skills can install solar at their home in germany and of course of course for people who live in flats this is absolutely ideal there's loads of brackets that can go on all sorts of balconies and you know anyone can just put together just like lego so this is the most recent desnes paper from my mate ed Miliband talking about the solar roadmap how we're going to move forward and in there was this interesting little section about plug-in solar and it talks about those who are getting left behind it rented accommodation and flats and i know you're out there and i know you watch my channel and you long to get solar for your own property but either landlord or you don't want to invest too much because you won't be able to take it with you or there's just no electrician that will work on a particular type of property because it's too small scale but you want to reduce your bills so the government is looking into ways to hopefully follow suit of Germany and many many other nations around the world who have already done this semi deregulation up to a certain limit so you can already buy these kits in the UK and so what's the deal? And there's kind of two avenues to this because there's some people who are selling these legitimately and there's clearly some less uh, above board companies who are selling it and you can buy it with a three pin UK plug and you can just, just like Lego, just go and plug it into your wall, into your, your normal wall socket and feed it into the circuits in your home, but ultimately also back into the grid. And we know that that is not really the way. There's a lot of owners who aren't waiting for the deregulation. They're seeing what's happening in Germany and they're just steaming ahead and they're doing it. And they are finding a few hiccups along the way, but also a lot of them 
they're just finding that it just works and they're not running into any issues. And uh, a quick perusal around some of the groups that I frequent. Uh, there's some people who have been doing this for a number of years and uh, not not yet facing any technical difficulties. They seem to be pretty competent, um, even if they're not technically qualified. And of course, there's always the discussion and the debate of the difference between competency and qualification. But anyway, um, some of them even argue that below 800 watts is exempt. But I mean, I've checked the G98 regs and I've checked several documents. There is no exemption for a micro generation below 800 watts. Um, this shows you the things that don't apply if it's below 800 watts in G98, but it never says that you don't need to apply for G98. And of course, applying for G98 is cheap and easy and no problem at all. So in the um, in the UK at the moment, we are not allowed to just plug it into a wall socket, but we can use these systems as long as we have a qualified electrician connect it directly into a breaker. OK, so a dedicated circuit for some of these DIY systems is all you need, really. And you don't need to get them to, you know, physically wall mount uh, an inverter or a or uh, solar panels on your roof or anything you could do it on a patio on a balcony you know lean them up against the side of your house and brace them in some way there's loads of options anyway so what are the legitimate safety concerns and why are people pushing back on this now you know if you want to be really cynical you could just say well at the moment the solar industry is very profitable as um, you know there's a has a lot of business to be made to be had a lot of money to be made and of course maybe some of those people will be trying to stunt the progress if ultimately this can all just be turned over to homeowners and they can just DIY it themselves um, I'm I don't think that that is really what's happening in the industry personally that's my opinion so um the things that uh, solar equipment needs to comply with it needs to cut off in case of a power cut so that you're not feeding any power into the grid anyone's working on it and they get a bit of a surprise um you need to in many cases an rcbo that this socket is connected to will need to be bi-directional um you know things like rcds may not detect current flow in both um, directions there's there's loads of stuff to read about that and it's an absolute minefield but uh, a lot of people saying that the UK isn't geared up for it there's worry about MC4 connections not being made properly by DIYers um, some of the equipment currently for sale on some places Amazon and eBay especially is not ENA approved equipment so it shouldn't be connected to the grid in in any case there's no testing that's carried out after installation which you would normally have with a qualified electrician and a solar installation and EV charging sockets is an example of why this should be limited and why many places around the world have gone for this 600 700 800 watt uh, limitation it's because we saw when EV charging EV chargers the granny chargers would draw in 10 amps consistently for you know 5 6 7 8 hours maybe even more than that we were seeing that most home domestic sockets aren't actually rated for a continuous draw of 10 amps or more they're rated for a, a peak of 13 amps but they can't actually maintain that consistent current flow so that also works in the opposite direction if we have people all of a sudden trying to whack two kilowatts of solar through their uh, plug socket and it's going all guns blazing may june july you know 10 hours a day we're going to have issues of course um, on top of that electricians are or they're not all but they can be mcs certified for solar installations without mcs certification there will be no export payments so this will be uh, primarily for self-consumption only now what about the price Here's an example. You know, I've been working with EcoFlow on some of these products. This is their new stream range. Um, and as you can see, it's quite appealing that you get over two kilowatts of solar panels. So four 520 watt solar panels you get. And then one box, all in one box that could, in theory, just be plugged straight in. You've seen how I've wired mine in dedicated to the 
the input on my inverter to comply with the regulations properly but this one box has a solar charge controller it has a micro inverter it has ac bi-directional inverters and it also has two kilowatt hours of storage and that's for 1400 pounds and that is diy like you can do it all yourself but at the moment of course in the uk you'd have to get an electrician to make that final connection to the grid to your circuits in your home it's it's an interesting proposition um i don't know where you sit on it um people could save a lot of money i think my conclusion ultimately is posing these questions to you will plug in solar take over in the uk just like it has in germany and some other nations that are following suit what changes do you think will occur before that happens, both in terms of our regulations? Will there be a, you know, a G98 will uh, be uh, more flexible in these things? Um, or will there be a more easy process for homeowners to make that application for these plug-in solars? Or do you think there'll be more technical changes that will happen with some of the equipment before it arrives with us? I already think that EcoFlow have absolutely changed the game. Their their previous model, PowerStream, last year, that was a great bit of hardware and it was really well received in Germany. But the jump from the PowerStream range to the Stream range is just a quantum leap. And then finally, the last question is, are you interested? Are you eager to see this happen, get your hands on it and expand your ex existing solar array or perhaps you just want to get your hands on it because the existing solutions just haven't been available to you. Let me know in the comments. Thank you as always. Like, comment, subscribe. On to the next one.